Number four, make an object look at another object. For example, if we always want this cone to point to our cube, wherever our cube may be, we can add a nice geometry node setup on our cone. We can actually find Shift A, an object info node that we pinpoint to our cube and we set to relative. We Shift D this to drag this out to a self object. And that means that, well, it just gets the information from itself as an object, which means the cone rotation, location, whatever. And then we can drag out the location here, find a subtract vector math. We add this to the second location and then the output will be the vector that points it in the correct direction to the cube. Now, how do we use that vector? Well, we have shift A, an align rotation to vector, right? That automatically means that we can rotate a vector to an actual direction and we use this vector to the actual vector direction and we use the rotation of our cone because it already has a rotation so we need to rotate that already present rotation to align with the vector so how do we now use this well what we can do is hit shift a and find a geometry to instance there and that way we can just use the rotate instance node here with a rotation that will now be this rotation beautiful the z direction seems to be the correct direction and let's see if this works we move the cube and the cone will always point at the cube no matter where it is